What is going on, bros and brosses? It is Paul here from Jamal Productions, bringing you guys episode 2 of Paul's Craft Season 4. Now, guys, we smashed the like button on the previous episode, so thank you very much on that. And, yes, I may be starting up the Survival Island series again. It depends. We'll see how it goes, and I might bring it out um, soon, or might bring it out in the near future. But anyway, guys, I wanted to make something with this mob spawner very soon. I thought that would have hurt me there. <laughs> so I just went silent. Um, but I want to make something with this mob spawner. But I now know how many mobs will spawn, and I need. I thought we would probably want to armor up before we do that. As you can see, we've got 21 iron here, and now we've got two more still smelting. So we will actually create ourselves an iron chest plate because that's the best for protection and a helmet. And um, we'll keep the rest for things such as what I'm about to build now, such as a pickaxe because we do need pickaxe. And we'll go ahead and do that right now, and then we will have it ready for where we need it and uh, that'll probably be now because I want to go into Middle Earth guys really badly you don't understand how much and um, yes I did actually go into it I couldn't ho hold myself and yes I did I went into Middle Earth with um, what's it called the thingy what's it called I can't remember <laughs> um, on my other world and yeah I thought you know I really want to go there I want to see what's there and honestly guys it is awesome you guys will think it's so awesome hopefully and oh my word already two creepers here oh humbug it's gonna jump over isn't it oh no you don't okay if we get one to explode that'd be great there we go already damaged our armor already but still that actually helped us because that killed one um, so we'll put down a torch here so then no mobs will spawn. Okay, so we need to get down here where the um, awesome, I'm just going to say coal lies. Whoa, what? Um, what? Why did it do that? I just lost a torch because of that, okay. Um, but this is where the awesome ore lies. So hopefully there'll be not as many mobs as I'm wishing for so we'll quickly put torches around everywhere don't forget guys this is on hard so it's a lot more difficult for me to survive as you guys know from the last episode where I actually died if you guys want to check that out and um, left up annotation we'll head you straight over there but um, seems to be not many mobs actually we are on hardcore yeah we are on hard we're not on hardcore definitely not otherwise this series would have been over by now um, but I will be bringing up this hardcore series. So I want to bring up so many Minecraft series, guys. But um, I'll probably do it every time. Uh, like, as much as we do grow faster right now because we're growing so fast. Um, when we grow faster and when um, we start hitting hitting more subscribers, then I will probably start bringing out more videos. Because right now, um, it's kind of just like I'm doing random little commentaries that you guys seem to enjoy. Like, I've got another idea for one, so I might be bringing that out um, either within the next few days. <laughs> um, but it's pretty good um, in my eyes, and it's just something that's, um, yeah, I just need, I, I think I think you guys might enjoy. So, yeah, I'm going to bring it out. Um, but that creeper, one more hit, and it's dead. Oh, no. I just stopped hitting for a second, and it didn't die, so I was just like, hit again. Whoa. Okay, that just suicided itself. Okay, so there seems to be some awesome. Whoa, that was a pretty far hit. Okay. Um. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna hit you in. I'm gonna hit you in. There you go. Ouch. You can leave me alone now. Okay. Let's just see. Oh no! I thought that was a spider. Okay, that's the spider. Enderman. 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 Oh humbug! 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 I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. Oh, Humbug, I hate Endermen so much. They're too OP, they are too OP. Oh my god, you can even hear it. Oh, Humbug. Need to regen health. Come on, I don't want to die again. Gonna try and not die for a while now. Okay. But um, while I'm mining this, I wanted to say something. I've completely forgotten what it was now. Uh, let me think for a second, and I will, like, ah, uh, blah, why can't I think of what I was going to say? Um, huh, but yeah, guys, in the Lord of the Rings, that's it, that's what, uh, this isn't what I was going to say, but I just thought of something else that I wanted to say, uh, but, um, in the Lord of the Rings world, there's four different places so far, because it's still being worked on, 
it's kind of in like beta kind of thing, beta test, but um, it's on public, isn't it? obviously, that's how I've got it, but um, it has got the four areas, it has got Rohan, Gondor, the Shire, and Mordor, so in each area it has different sort of trademarks, obviously, kind of thing, and Gondor has its like towers and beacons, like when you're like the first beacon and it'll carry on going if you guys have seen the film you'll understand that. And it's, that's pretty much um, Gondor. There's even blacksmiths that you can trade with if you have gold, I think. So if you have gold and no silver in your infantry, you can actually trade with them that is absolutely crazy. They've actually put trading into this. And you can even trade with um, people like Shire. Shire. You can even trade with Shire. <laughs> you can trade with um, hobbits like in pubs for things, and it's just awesome. So you need to find silver coins, or you can make it. I'm guessing by the silver ore. If you can get the silver ore, I'm not sure. But in the hob, in the Shire, guys, it's awesome. There's all the hobbit holes, obviously, and there's like the pub. Um, I think that I think that's the Shire, but it's honestly so awesome. But we can actually go to the Shire now. I think I think that. Um, so we need to go and get. We need to go back up. Um, create. Uh, this way. Create. We've already got a bucket, so we don't need to create a bucket. But we will need to bring a bucket down and get some lava. So that that's something that we need to do right now. I'm gonna go back up, and this is gonna take a minute. So I'll see you guys. In a second. Okay, so guys, I'm back down here with um, all four buckets, actually. Um, if you guys didn't see the previous episode, I did actually find four buckets in the mob spawner. And so I'm going to try and get all four as, uh, what, what, whatever it's called, lava. I, I forget the name of lava. Um, and it seems to be lava seems to be flowing there for some reason. So I'll go check that out. Lapis, the most worthless ore in the game, mining it for the XP. It's already level 8, so I don't want to die and lose all my levels. Um, but because there's so much light down here, there's literally no mobs, so it's pretty pretty great actually. Um, I'm just guessing there's going to be a mob that just sneaks up on me though. And yeah. Okay, so let's get this lava here. Ooh, uh, ooh, this is a nice lava pool, isn't it? Oh, there seems to might be some stuff over there. Hoping to find diamonds in an early episode. I honestly actually am. Because if we do, then it's just a really fast start off like the previous se season. But because this has got Lord of the Rings mod and I'm hoping you guys can recommend me some mods, then I can add it in and then the map this series won't get as boring because there's more things to do, more things to explore, and a lot more things that we can do with the world. Without... I, I, really got bored of the previous world. I wasn't really sure on what to do on it anymore, so yeah. But okay. Um now this is gonna oh this is gonna be a long walk back up again. Uh, it's not very long, it's like two minutes, but less than two minutes even, but still it's just ah uh, the effort walking. Oh no creeper. Turn the other way. Uh but we have got a lot of coal now, so that's that's a good point. That's a pretty good point now, isn't it? Is that creeper followed me? No, it's not. They improved the AI a long time ago on Minecraft, so they, they could follow you around things, so they didn't just walk through lava like I used to actually make them do. Now they just actually walk around it. They, they, I was quite sad about, but it does make it like more challenging. So you can, you see, so you gotta hit them in. That is pretty much like more normal. <laughs> Um, so we need to get back up. I'm going to try and swim back up. Guys, it's going to take me a minute. I'll see you guys in a second. Blop. Okay, so bros, I'm back up. It is sunrise. Because I just came out and seen it. Those guys are going to die. And let's... Um, now that's smelted. We'll smelt some more iron. And then I think we should probably start heading off from here. Because I don't think it's very smart living here. Um, for the simple reason that I don't think it's very smart. It's it's right next to a mob spawner. I'll, I'll have to remember where the mob spawner is. I'll leave this hut here. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh my word, I've got full infantry. Oh, humble this. <laughs> full, um, don't need that. Don't need rotten flesh. Need seeds. That would be very nice, actually. Charcoal. Gosh, okay, have we got a stick? No, we haven't even got a stick. Um... Humbug this. Humbug this. <laughs> um, right there. 
what we could do is it'd be a nice place to build um if we built any other dimension so we could maybe just make the ring here or something so if we maybe oh yeah we'll just do that now you know we'll make the ring now so i'll put down a chest again and then put some stuff in okay i haven't got any chest okay so keep doing that for a second got the two chests um so now i can put some i need the lava buckets but i'll just put in a pile of this ah uh, gosh okay one second guys okay so um sorry about that but um i think i'm gonna make it like that first of all see no okay now it is i'm sure it is now just golden nuggets so you take them back and then it's just simply that isn't it yeah it is okay gold ring is done pretty simple and now we need to make a little little god not garden what am i saying garden um make it four by four like this okay and then we'll place our nice lava in here uh, nice little lava buckets in here like so actually no do we need four buckets we'll just use two and then we throw that in there and then the ring enlarges take the lava back i know we just have some lava there so that's our natural light for around here and we can't actually get in there if we build a platform <laughs> so it'd be smart if i brought some cobblestone with me and made a platform luckily we have got the cobblestone for it so um we have got more iron smelting it on so that's awesome as always and um, now we need to use this cobblestone and make a little pathway up for to make sure that we cannot fall into it so maybe make it like that and then it's going to start teleporting me now isn't it it's starting to teleport me um there you go and we're going oh yes okay awesome 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 now guys if as you guys can see the top bar with the where are we right now where are we right now i just accidentally saved an image um we are in gondor this is gondor you guys are like it's just normal but there's mordor um so we'll head off into mordor first of all but we will get attacked by orcs so it could be not the smartest thing to do but yeah guys the bar at the top is simply just if you kill orcs you'll see in a second when i kill this orc um, need to kill the orc. Okay, see, and then it says plus one, right, with the ring. Oh yeah, we did. What did we get from that? Okay, we've got something from that. Um, and it get, get basically, if you kill evil, then you get like, with that. Look at the night chain. The look at the sky change. Um. Oh, whoa, bomber guy. Okay, I didn't expect that actually. Um. Okay, kill him. He's a pretty easy one. But the more orcs you kill, then the more good you become. The more good guys you kill, such as Gondor, Hobbits, and I don't think there's any people in Rohan, but there is horses and ponies and stuff like that. Um, the more of them you kill, then the more evil you become. So it is pretty awesome and well thought out. That is water down there and some ore, so we'll have to hop down there and see what ore that is. Um, I want to know what sort of ore it is, so yeah. Okay, so it is pretty hard to see actually, because I've got the sun on my screen. Um, don't know if you can mine it. Oh, yeah, I can mine it. Um, yeah, i got some more here. Okay, so what is this? Morgul Iron Ore. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to use probably some sort of Dwarven Furnace to actually smelt this. So, oh, humbug, that's not going to work. Oh, oh, you nearly hit me there, didn't you? Oh, no, Poisonous Dagger, Poisonous Dagger. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, do they come out? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, guys, I want to show you this experiment now. Well, it's not an experiment. Oh, humbug. Humbug, humbug, humbug. Um, oh, humbug, humbug. That wasn't going to happen. Okay. Keep following me. Okay, keep following me. This is a Gondor tower. And currently it contains Gondor men. And you'll see what happens when I bring them um, some enemies to kill. So look, they start to try and come out. Um, they're actually, oh, humbug, they're trying to open the door and just failing. Okay, so there you go. They start to fight. Um, I can actually pick up that spear, can't I? No, I can't because they throw it. But just look at that. Look at the Gondorians and just, they just beat them. Welcome to Gondor, Skater Miner. And they even speak to you, so that's pretty awesome. You can get mugs of ale and even with the empty mugs, you can actually fill them up with ale. You can drink it like so. And it refills your hunger. Okay, so you can find things like, oh my word, a lot of flint and seals. Okay, awesome. Um, 
You can find many things in here, such as, wait there, if I quickly go behind here, there should be something in the chest. See, has some silver coins that you need to collect, so you can trade things with many, with virtually everything in the game. So, really fast way to refill your hunger is to drink ale, and you can, I can actually make these at home, but as you can see, you can become drunk. <laughs> so, it's not the best thing, and the screen is really horrible, but you can still control it, so s sorry if this is really, really horrible for you guys. Um, wait there, why can't I even close the door? Okay. Um, but yeah, this is what happens when you get drunk on it. <laughs> um, but there's another tower over there, and I think there's more Mordor over there. Um, I'm not really sure to get rid of it, that's the only bad thing about this. Okay. So, um, if it would stop shaking now, that'd be great. Um, but anyway, look, while we're here, while our eyes are just completely dying in pain, Look at the world, though. That looks actually pretty awesome. Um, okay, but anyway, we're back to normal. So now, with the flint and steel, you can set the beacon on fire. It may set that one on fire if there, I'm not completely sure. Um, but this beacon is lit, so then within 50 blocks or something, it should light up the next beacon closest to it. So we're going to go head over there and see what's over there as well. Um, but usually in Gondor you do find some Gondor blacksmiths that you can, as far as I know, you can trade with them. So it does come in pretty handy having some silver coins on you at all times. As well as there is the Misty Mountains that if you guys have seen The Hobbit, or, or in fact Lord of the Rings films, uh, such as like, um, what is it, what one is it, sorry, um, Fellowship of the Ring, then you guys will understand it, but I need to check behind here. Um, move please, thank you. Oh yes, we've got a Gondorian dagger, so that's pretty awesome, we'll try that out. And we can't actually fit anything more in our chests, in, sorry, in here. So we will actually probably have to drop things off here. Um, some more silver coins, sweets, bread, and um, now back to the top floor, where I don't think, yeah, there is one chest, isn't it? Nope, I thought there was a chest there, okay. But, um, as you can see, this beacon, you can light up this beacon as well. And then at night time, it will be easier to navigate as well. So I'll just do it, for example, slash time set. Um, can you do time set in this? Um, 12,000, is it? I'm set to 12,000. Okay, that was a fail. 24,000. 4,000. Is that night time? Oh, humbug. I don't know how to set it. Okay. Um, zero. Okay, wrong, wrong, wrong. 36,000 maybe. <laughs> um, I just want to show you guys how you can see it. Oh my word, I cannot do this, can I? Um, let's just do 6,000. Oh my word, I'm getting worse. I'm actually getting worse at this. 66,000. There we are, okay. So, for example, oh, can, you can't get down from here, can you? Oh, smart me. For coming up. Oh, I nearly knocked you off. Sorry, bro, I'm a Knight of Gondor. Awesome, but yeah, there is a lot of new material blocks such as these as you are seeing right now. Um, with the, what was in this chest back here? Can you just please come in if you're going to come in? It'd be very nice. Uh, I don't really need them actually, so I'll leave them. Um, hello, you're guarding outside. But from a distance away, as you can see there, it is pretty visible to see when you have the beacon on the left side. You can even see the flame there. So it is pretty awesome and will come in handy for you guys when... If you ever uh, are ever playing this, and you will understand that. But anyway, time set back to zero, as it was, um, I think, anyway. But um, we'll carry on exploring, and I'll see you guys in a second once I find a new area. Okay, so guys, I just ran to some pigs, and I wanted to try out the dagger. And it's actually only two hits. How many hits is it from an iron sword? Two hits. So the Gondorian dagger is the same damage, to my knowledge, here. Um as an iron sword that is actually pretty good so i have to admit that is very good and i've got to, i'm going to drop that one charcoal so i can pick up more food actually can i pick up that no i can't okay it doesn't matter it's only one charcoal and as we now have a lot more coal then we don't exactly need it but i really want to find um what is it the shire because i want to show you guys either the shire as you guys have just said um, like the Hobbit Holes, or a Dwarven Mines, I know guys, the Dwarven Mines are amazing, literally guys, you'll be like, what are you doing, this is crazy, I'm, I'm hoping you would anyway, because when I seen it, I was like, wow, that's amazing, as you can see, there's beacon towers over there of Gondor's, um, 
so it's pretty good. So we'll quickly keep heading over here. Um, there are many ores such as copper. There's copper ore. I'm not silver ore. Mithril and oh, I'm being impaled by spears. Um, with the as the Gondorian men up here, yeah, there are. So they will help me. They will be nice enough to help me, hopefully. Okay. No, they'll stop following me. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, okay. This is this um stone here. Uh, it's Gondorian stone, isn't it? It's just okay. Let's just see what it is. Yeah, Gondor rock. So yeah, that's pretty much that. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. And has. The Gondorians. I will set a light this beacon here to just to show you guys. Uh, oh, cool! It has ladders. Okay, awesome. I like this one. Hello, Gondorian man. Um, do you wish to have some ale with me? I am an out of Gondor. So hopefully now, guys, that should light up there. I will drink one beer. Hope to not get drunk. Okay, yeah. And then that lights up there. And then that should light up that one over there. And then it goes on like that. So it is pretty awesome in the way of it doing that. So it's pretty well thought out. And that is what happens in the film. So it does make a lot of sense. And it kind of would be awesome if it... It, it would be sad if it didn't. That's what I was going to say. Um, but sadly there is no water to, for me to jump down on, into. So I'm going to have to find another way down. Okay, so guys, I found my way down. I just went down the mountainside there. But on my way up, uh, I seen this awesome Mordor Tower. And now I really want to go in there. I know that it might be difficult because there are going to be orcs in there. But sadly, it does not contain really any loot at all. So it's not the best, like, kind of thing to go in. It's just really to see if you can get any drops from the orcs. So we'll try and head in. Oh. Nope, you missed me. Um, how many hits is it with that? Okay, four hits. Um, so that's pretty good. And it, But it sadly does die very fast. Now, I know for a fact, guys, you can actually get elvish like swords. And that, that that's to me, is pretty awesome. Because I love the elvish swords and bows and armor. You can get all of that. But I'm not actually sure completely how you actually get it. So that is pretty pretty unfair and sad. Because I, didn't even, I don't even know how you get to... See elves. You don't even know if you can see elves. So, um, but yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no. Whoa. What is with how many? Yeah, no. It's in. It's in Mordor. I know that. But oh, oh my word. Okay. I'm just gonna actually run across here. I'm gonna get out my iron sword. See if that does more damage. Yeah, it does. Okay. Iron sword deals more damage. Uh, that makes no sense. Because it's Gondorian and there we go. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> um, let's quickly mine into here. Oh, 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 oh. He's not happy with me trying to get in. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. What's that? Wait there. These these towers. Okay. Um, don't need Mordor rock. Let's see what it is. It's an orc torch. Oh, oh no. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no. Can you just slash back? No. Oh, humbug. Which way was it? Guys, I know it's in this direction, so I'm going to go run in this direction and hopefully get back to where it was. And um, hopefully I'll retrieve my stuff. But I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully I'll get back there. If I do, then you'll see all my stuff in the next episode. Um, but it is in this direction, so I do know that. So, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please hit that like button. That is really appreciated. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And by the way, guys, if you have seen that like um, like and subscribe um, support, that is um, something that I made myself, and it's pretty awesome. So, if you guys like that, then please tell me. And I'll see you guys soon. If you've got any mods, leave in the comments below. I'll see you guys. See you guys.